You cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. You can fool all the people some of the time and some of the people all the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. Most folks are about as happy as they make their minds up to be. Sir, my concern is not whether God is on our side. My greatest concern is to be on God's side, for God is always right. Love is the chain to lock a child to its parent. This is a world of compensations, and he who would be no slave must consent to have no slave. Those who deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves, and under a just God cannot long retain it. Character is like a tree, and reputation like a shadow. The shadow is what we think of it. The tree is the real thing. Tact, the ability to describe others as they see themselves. No man has a good enough memory to be a successful liar. There are no bad pictures. That's just how your face looks sometimes. You can tell the greatness of a man by what makes him angry. Common looking people are the best in the world. That is the reason the Lord makes so many of them. He has a right to criticize. Who has a heart to help? Human action can be modified to some extent, but human nature cannot be changed. A farce or comedy is best played. A tragedy is best read at home. Upon the subject of education, not presuming to dictate any plan or system respecting it, I can only say that I view it as the most important subject which we as a people can be engaged in. I am rather inclined to silence, and whether that be wise or not, it is at least more unusual nowadays to find a man who can hold his tongue than to find one who cannot. I don't like that man. I must get to know him better. When you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. Better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak out and remove all doubt. Leave nothing for tomorrow which can be done today. For people who like that kind of a book, that is the kind of book they will like. Adhere to your purpose and you will soon feel as well as you ever did. On the contrary, if you falter and give up, you will lose the power of keeping any resolution and will regret it all your life. And in the end, it is not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. We can complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses. Every man's happiness is his own responsibility. If I am killed, I can die but once. But to live in constant dread of it is to die over and over again. Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. I would rather be a little nobody than an evil somebody. I have been driven many times upon my knees by the overwhelming conviction that I had nowhere else to go. My own wisdom and that of all about me seemed insufficient for that day. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to success is more important than any other thing. I am a success today because I had a friend who believed in me and I didn't have the heart to let them down. I have a congenital aversion to failure. I happen temporarily to occupy this big white house. I am living witness that any one of your children may look to come here as my father's child has. The greatest fine art of the future will be the making of a comfortable living from a small piece of land. I am not bound to win, but I am bound to be true. I am not bound to succeed, 
but I am bound to live by the light that I have. I must stand with anybody that stands right, and stand with him while he is right, and part with him when he goes wrong. Human nature will not change. In any future great national trial, compared with the men of this, we shall have as weak and as strong, as silly and as wise, as bad and as good. What is to be will be, and no prayers of ours can arrest the decree. And having thus chosen our course, without guile and with pure purpose, let us renew our trust in God, and go forward without fear and with manly hearts. Let every American, every lover of liberty, every well-wisher to his posterity, swear by the blood of the revolution, never to violate in the least particular the laws of the country, and never to tolerate their violation by others. You think slavery is right and should be extended, while we think slavery is wrong and ought to be restricted. That, I suppose, is the rub. It certainly is the only substantial difference between us. I know not how to aid you, save in the assurance of one mature age and much severe experience that you cannot fail, and if you resolutely determine that you will not. As I would not be a slave, so I would not be a master. This expresses my idea of democracy. I claim not to have controlled events, but confess plainly that events have controlled me. I have stepped out upon this platform that I may see you, and that you may see me, and in the arrangement I have the best of the bargain. The demon of intemperance ever seems to have delighted in sucking the blood of genius and of generosity. I have not permitted myself, gentlemen, to conclude that I am the best man in the country, but I am reminded, in this connection, of a story of an old Dutch farmer who remarked to a companion once that it was not best to swap horses while crossing streams. In giving freedom to the slave, we assure freedom to the free, honorable alike in what we give and what we preserve. We shall nobly save or meanly lose the last best hope of earth. With malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have borne the battle, and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. The one victory we can ever call complete will be that one which proclaims that there is not one slave or one drunkard on the face of God's green earth. In regard to this great book, I have but to say it is the best gift God has given to man. All the good the Savior gave to this world was communicated through this book. No man is good enough to govern another man without the other's consent. I say this is the leading principle, the sheet anchor of American republicanism. It may seem strange that any men should dare to ask a just God's assistance in wringing their bread from the sweat of another men's faces. But let us judge not that we be not judged. The prayers of both could not be answered. That of neither has been answered fully. The Almighty has his own purposes. I leave you hoping that the lamp of liberty will burn in your bosoms until there shall no longer be a doubt that all men are created free and equal. Surely God would not have created such a being as man, with an ability to grasp the infinite, to exist only for a day. No, no, man was made for immortality. I have never studied the art of paying compliments to women, but I must say that if all that has been said by orators and poets since the creation of the world in praise of women were applied to the women of America, it would not do them justice for their conduct during this war. I will close by saying, God bless the women of America.
I care not for a man's religion, whose dog and cat are not the better for it. Let us have faith that right makes might, and in that faith, let us, to the end, dare to do our duty as we understand it. The United States government must not undertake to run the churches. When an individual, in the church or out of it, becomes dangerous to the public interest, he must be checked. Any people anywhere, being inclined and having the power, have the right to rise up and shake off the existing government and form a new one that suits them better. This is a most valuable, a most sacred right, a right which we hope and believe is to liberate the world. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. I do not expect the union to be dissolved. I do not expect the house to fall. But I do expect it will cease to be divided. It will become all one thing or all the other. This country, with its institutions, belongs to the people who inhabit it. Whenever they shall grow weary of the existing government, they can exercise the constitutional right of amending it or their revolutionary right to dismember it or overthrow it. I desire to so conduct the affairs of this administration that if at the end, when I come to lay down the reins of power, I have lost every other friend on earth, I shall at least have one friend left, and that friend shall be down inside of me. Public sentiment is everything. With public sentiment, nothing can fail. Without it, nothing can succeed. The ballot is stronger than the bullet. Discourage litigation. Persuade your neighbors to compromise whenever you can. Point out to them how the nominal winner is often a real loser in fees, expenses, and waste of time. As a peacemaker, the lawyer has a superior opportunity of being a good man. There will still be business enough. Which of the quotes did you enjoy the most? Share in the comment section. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next motivational and inspirational quotes. And share with others. Thanks.